Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna check out Home Goods and see what all they have out for fall. I was super excited because I saw they had all their Halloween out way before fall. And I went in today not knowing if they were gonna have their fall out or not, and they did. So we are gonna check out all these beautiful pumpkins. I am a sucker for these. I have a small collection of these glass pumpkins because I just think they are gorgeous. They were actually rearranging shells and bringing out even more stuff while I was here this day. So we're definitely going to continue doing more shop with me's as the season really approaches. But I know a lot of you are already out and about looking before all the good stuff gets gone. So I was gonna share with y'all what is out right now now these little rattan pumpkins are going to be super popular this year we all love the rattan and the wicker i love these glass ones that light up i personally don't have one that lights up yet and i saw so many beautiful ones here today so i think i'm gonna go back and pick out my favorite one i really liked this one there was actually so many that i liked it's gonna be hard to choose but i really wasn't shopping hard today i was just like filming what was out there and kind of making my list once i go through my things and check inventory on things that i wanted or needed these little light up ones are just so pretty miss althea has some and they're so pretty at night lit up with the beautiful glow Oh, this blue one's pretty. And it lights up. Hey, this is Bits and Floyd. Floyd. $16.99. And that little tray's cute too. Will you flip it over and show me how much it is? That would be cute standing up. Martha Stewart. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> that one's pretty. That's a pretty color. It's like iridescent. It's kind of got some pink into it. It's $14.99. So many of these. Oh, that one is cute. How much? $12.99. These are big and pretty. They're like stacked pumpkins. Oh, $80, but I do love that because I love this look. That'd be pretty in front of in front of the fireplace. I the love park. that. It's only $25. Yeah, I got one very similar to this from the thrift store. $50. It's in Floyd. This one's, no, this one's a little bit more cream, right? Oh, yeah. Y'all know that I love Fitz and Floyd things. And so whenever I saw their little logo, I was like, wait, this is Fitz and Floyd. So they had several different colors in these. And then this stack of pumpkins, I really liked them too. And they had the lights up under them. I am trying my best to share with y'all the prices on everything, but I'm holding the camera and trying to move these glass pumpkins around. So y'all bear with me because I definitely didn't want to break anything but all these pumpkins are like less than twenty dollars and so they're very affordable and they definitely go with my like traditional glam elegant home um that's just how i love to decorate and so i love these glass pumpkins this would be also beautiful on your mantle and then they had two bigger white pumpkins for all of you neutral girlies now we're going to pan over to all the fall wreaths they had a lot of beautiful wreaths here and Hobby Lobby is definitely my favorite place to purchase florals or wreaths. Um, we went to Kirkland's also this day, and I'm going to be sharing with y'all that video on Sunday. And I just don't love their wreaths. There was one there that was beautiful, but these two places are definitely my favorites to find the florals and the wreaths. Let me know where your favorite place is to get them. I mean, they do have beautiful things there. It's just not my personal style. So you may love Kirkland's Reese because it fits your home aesthetic more than mine. But let me know what, where your favorite place to look for florals and Reese are. Let us all know in the comments down below in case we're missing somewhere. I thought these hydrangeas were very realistic looking and they were beautiful fall colors. And this wreath is so much fun. I'm going to show you my little 
pin that I have on Pinterest. This is such a fun little Halloween vibe. We're going to pan over to the Halloween section and just get a glimpse of some things. Um, just because they had so much of it out. And it's so funny to me because y'all riddle me this. Whenever I post Halloween videos, I barely get any views. But they always put out tons of Halloween decor before they even put out fall in the stores. I know that there's a lot of people that go ahead and decorate for Halloween like in September. Like Halloween is their fall. Like my sister-in-law, she loves Halloween decorations. So let me know in the comments down below if you're a fall girly or a Halloween girly. I definitely love little kisses of halloween like the fun little halloween like this little fun little bat and then this beautiful like little wicker which is cauldron um i just like touches of it though and i don't like it up all throughout october like maybe a little ways into october so let me know in the comments down below which is your vibe the halloween or the fall now we're heading over to the dishes and again not many fall dishes yet but there was like a collection of these little halloween dishes that were definitely given like a little goth vibe i thought these were pretty with the black and white i did find this fall little pumpkin plate but i don't know how much it was because i didn't want to break anything so now we're going to go over to the tablecloths or the table runners they had some super cute ones all of these were like 16.99 and 24.99 like in between those prices um but there was definitely some favorites i really would like to find a bedazzled one though i love the bedazzled stuff at home goods this one i loved i loved the little print on it i thought it was so fun and it actually i noticed came with two tablecloths so you could layer it so that one was probably one of my favorites the little pink one was cute too this is the only one that i saw for fall so they haven't brought out those yet so we'll definitely be going back to home goods to check out their fall and see if they have more fall than halloween these are some tablecloths that are really good for outdoor like you could use these to carve pumpkins on and then these little cloth napkins were so cute they had lots of really cute ones here but again lots of halloween no fall yet and finally we found something bedazzled at home goods these little placemats comment down below which one that you think that i got and i will share with y'all the haul at the end of this video but I just loved these and I want to find a tablecloth, something like this. Mom and Kaysen had already made a lap around while I was filming and Kaysen ended up, ended up falling asleep. So mom found a comfortable chair and is rocking him while we finish up. He actually loves being out and about, he loves getting all the attention. Everybody will always come up to him and talk about how cute he is and make him smile and grin. So he loves being out just as much as us. So we got really lucky with that. As long as he has his snackies and all the people watching, he is good to go. We made our way through the little baking aisle, and I was just going to share with y'all a few little things that they have. I loved those little Dutch ovens, like the little um, pans. I have been loving those and wanting one for years, and so this year may be the year that I pull the trigger and find one. I want to find like the perfect one, though. We're going to mosey on over to the hand towels. Lots of cute ones, but again, all Halloween, no fall. I love this cupcakes and cashmere line at Home Goods. They have the cutest little things. And now we're going to make our way over to the pillows. And thankfully, there were a lot of really cute fall pillows out. But there was definitely a lot more Halloween. Um, but they had lots and lots and lots of pillows for any style home. And I love looking at all the pumpkin ones, all the little ghost ones. And... Uh, these are all my favorite ones to actually look at, but as far as the ones that we've been putting on our couch now, they're a little bit more traditional and like classic styles like this one. This one would be really pretty in our home. I love the scallop edging and just the muted tones. This one I really loved. I think it would go great with the pillow that I want to keep out that we have on our couch right now for fall. And I think this one would complement it so well. But again, all these that I see in store are the ones that I like smile big over and love. I think that they're so fun. This one would be cute for like that like modern farmhouse or the farmhouse vibes. If you're still doing that, this one would be so pretty. If 
you're going to be decorating with blue, I thought that this pillow would be really pretty in your bedroom or your living room because it has lots of blue in it. Now we're going to turn around and check out the Halloween pillows. These are so much fun. I love like tacky fun Halloween and they are really rocking it this year with like the bright oranges and the pinks and they're just so fun. And I think with having baby Kaysen now, I'm thinking about him and future babies and how I really want to bring in some of these fun styles and elements into our home um, towards the middle of October to finish out the month of October into Halloween because all this stuff really reminds me of my childhood around Halloween time. Look at this beautiful pink little blanket. I actually saw a mom pick this up while we were there. She had a little baby girl, so I'm pretty sure this was going in her nursery. And then the little pumpkin, um, bedazzled pumpkin with the ghost. These, ah, oh, cupcake and cashmere, they kill it. I love it. Look at this little haunted house. It came in a package too, though. I wish that they would have been separated, but if you had two girls in your home, then I guess that you could um, get the pack of two. And I found this blanket in that beautiful checkered pattern. Now it is not soft and I'm all about a soft cozy blanket for the fall chilly seasons, but it's definitely beautiful. And there was this one with lots of different colored pumpkins on it. There's one with leaves on it and it was definitely extra cozy. And this one with the pumpkins was probably the most beautiful one with the most cozy feels. And then I found these rugs that would be cute like in your kitchen or a bathroom and this one I loved so much this one was like one of those like foamy ones though so I think that you would only put this one like in front of your kitchen sink but I loved the colors on it and then last but not least I saw this on the clearance rack this beautiful amber like hurricane glass that would be beautiful with like a candle in it or a filler like pine cones I thought it was so pretty we wrapped this up went over there to check on mom and Kaysen and he's still out Hey friends, we are back home. This is actually the next day and got a few things out and about at Home Goods, and I wanted to share them with y'all real quick. Today is actually house cleaning day, so we're resetting the house, and then tomorrow we are going to the water park again. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm like resetting the house today and then packing us up to go out tomorrow before my sister's kids go back to school. We're trying to squeeze in all the last minute fun activities. First thing that I picked up from Home Goods were these napkins. Loved, loved the like houndstooth checkered. They're really not houndstooth. I thought they were, but I love houndstooth, especially because I'm an Alabama fan, but it just looks so classy. Like it kind of gives that Chanel vibe. So I love it. And I love the little pumpkins. This was a pack of eight for $12.99. I thought these would be pretty out for Halloween, kind of mid-October. My favorite find of the day Let's see if any of you guessed which placemats that I picked up. I love, love, love him. A little ghosty. So they were $10 each. I thought about getting, well, I got a total of three because I thought they'd be so pretty at our kitchen island in front of each bar stool. I was going to get one of each, um, the ghost, the bat and the pumpkin, and then the big full moon with the bat. Uh, Cause I loved them all. And I thought I'm just going to have three individual ones and put them at the bar. But mom and I were really discussing it. We decided that I should just get these three and I like everything to be matchy and symmetrical. So I think this was the best decision. Although those other ones were precious, but I really love these. I love bringing out a touch of like glam spooky into our home, keep all my fall decor up. And then like last year, I had found some pieces that I loved that were a little bit more glammy, and I liked just popping those in. I feel like, for me personally, having just a few Halloween touches that I absolutely love um, has been working for me better, especially in this house. I know, like, whenever we lived in the double wide, I went to Dollar Tree. I did, like, a Halloween tree and tried to find any, everything in, like, the Target dollar spot of the Halloween stuff, and I still am keeping all that. I thought last year I may get rid of it, but I was like, no, that might be something fun to pull out later whenever Kaysen and hopefully his future siblings enjoy one day. So I kind of kept it all, but I may look through it again this year and kind of purge some of the stuff that just is not my favorite and keep some of the lot more fun pieces or pieces that just really vibe with my style in our new home. But that was really chatty about these, but that's actually all that I grabbed from Home Goods. But we thankfully have a TJ Maxx right beside Home Goods. How awesome is that? And so I ran into TJ Maxx, and although I didn't film in there, which I did film a few uh, clips 
of what TJ Maxx had for my TikTok and Instagram. So definitely go check me out over there because you might get sneak peeks over there before everything makes it over to YouTube because it's quick and easy over there. Sister company to Home Goods. I figured I could share what I found at TJ Maxx because it, the stuff would be at Home Goods too. If you followed me last year, then you already know that I had this little ghosty. I have the taller one and then the little shorty one. But the other one, when I got it home, I realized it didn't have the light in it. So my bigger one had the light and the smaller one didn't. So I saw they came back this year. I got it because I loved the little glowing eyes. I thought they were so sweet. And he was $7.99. And also, we are about to be working on our gallery wall up the stairs. That has been a long time coming. I talked with y'all about that at the beginning of the year. Like that was one of my projects that I wanted to get done. I thought that was going to be one that went up super easy and quick and I had just pushed it off and pushed it off because instead of just throwing just anything up, I really wanted to have like more of a collected look and I came up with some really fun ideas. It won't be completely finished yet because um, I am planning on sharing it with y'all and what I got for it and starting to style it. But I know that I'll be looking for a few more pieces, but I want to go ahead and get that really started. So I think my next video, one of my next ones is going to be like, get it all done. Like we're going to get it all done, get all these projects done before the start of the holiday. We have Kaysen's first birthday coming up, which will be a couple weeks. We're actually having his birthday party next Saturday. And so I'm just like, okay, we're going to get all these projects done before Kaysen's birthday. Then we're going to the beach on his birthday with my family and Drew's family, and then we're coming back and starting fall. So I wanted to get all of these little projects tackled. So I have a lot of fun, fun stuff, a lot of new and fun stuff. If you follow me out on Instagram, then you already know what, probably what's coming, but a lot of fun stuff is coming. We're gonna be doing a get it all done video before the holidays. For them is going to be the gallery wall and it is coming together so beautifully. I'm so excited, but super chatty today. I got this picture frame. It was $9.99 and I love it, love it, love it. Looks like Mackenzie Childs inspired. I love that style. I actually have a fun little Mackenzie Childs uh, haul. I shopped their site on their big barn sale, which I shared over my Instagram a couple weeks ago and I shopped it and got some fun, fabulous pieces. And I feel like I've made it in the adult world because I have always wanted one of these. like since I was in middle school, high school that I can remember. So it went on such a big sale. We went ahead and got it and a few other things. So I'm gonna be sharing with y'all that in my get it all done video. And then we're gonna be restyling the pantry and painting those shelves, not completely restyling it, just adding a few pieces into it, but we're gonna be doing that, changing around some other stuff. So be sure to subscribe. This video is all over the place. I apologize, but I'm hoping that this looks good on our gallery wall. So we'll see. This is actually the clothes section in TJ Maxx, but I thought why not to share it with y'all. So I got Case and some new jammies for Halloween time. They were $10 each. They're like this bamboo material. They are so soft and I love having him in seasonal pajamas. And so these with the little ghosties, spiderwebs and little jack-o'-lanterns. It comes with the little pants and then the little fuzzy socks with the little grips, which I think will be great because he is starting to like try to stand on his own and he's definitely holding on to things and walking around. But I know before too much longer, he'll be up ready to go. And so then I also got this little PJ set, the little ghost with the little cowboy hats also comes with the little socks and the grippies and then the little matching pants. So we got him two Halloween pajamas for a really good deal. Lastly, I found this off the clearance rack. They had so many cute, like summer going into fall. Like I felt cause like this like crochet material is gonna go take us through the fall. I feel like it was really hot, popular, trendy item for summer. And I feel like it's just going right on into fall. Anyway, so I got this piece. I thought it would be a great transition piece going into fall. It was only $10. I wanted to get so much more, but we had already been out and about shopping for a while. I filmed at Home Goods and Kirkland's and we went a few other places. So we were running out of time. But I definitely want to go back, but I thought this would be so cute with a pair of like high waisted shorts and like high waisted athletic shorts, like the um, sweat, they're not sweatpants, but it's like the sweatpants material of shorts. I live in those. And I think that shirts like this styled with those little shorts is a very cute, casual outfit. It looks crappy, but I have a short torso. Whenever I wear those high-waisted shorts, 
gonna be so, so cute. But I love the colors in it because it's like brown going into the fall, but it still has my blue where me and baby Kaysen could match because y'all know I am a sucker for that. Um, and y'all know that I'm loving me some blue right now. That's all for today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed that shop with me in the haul. I have a Kirkland's shop with me and haul coming up on Sunday's video. And then after that, we will be jumping into the getting everything done, all the projects. And I have so much new stuff to share with y'all and that we're doing little projects on that video. So be sure to stick around. And then I'm definitely going to be sharing with y'all baby's Kaysen's birthday party. That is something that I think that y'all will enjoy because... We are going to be doing some decorating, but then also a lot of y'all have been with me here from the beginning and y'all love seeing baby Kaysen. So I know this video won't be for everybody, but this is like scrapbook memories for me too, which I love this about YouTube. And I love sharing with y'all like very big, important, fun, special moments in our life. And this is definitely one of them. So we're going to be sharing his birthday party and the theme of it, which I'm just so giddy about. And then... Um, I'm going to share with you all our beach trip with our families for his actual birthday. And then whenever we get back from that, it is going to be all fall. Whenever September gets here, it's holiday time. It's fall, football, spooky season, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas. It's just all right there together. And y'all know this is like the most favorite time of the year. Definitely getting back to the end of fun season on YouTube. All of my friends are cranking out the videos. I love, love, love watching them. And I'm holding baby Kaysen for his nap time and we're snuggling, doing contact naps. I am watching YouTube, all my YouTube friends, getting all the ideas, all the inspiration, hanging out with them. And I've already seen some fall content out and so excited, but not rushing it because whenever it gets here, Kaysen will be one. We're trying to slow down these last couple of weeks to soak up being a baby because I feel like whenever he turns one that is just a really big milestone okay I'm gonna let you guys go and I will see you guys in the very next one be sure to hit that subscribe button because it helped out my channel so 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 much comment down below let me know what your favorite find was let me know what you're running off to home goods to get and I will talk to you guys on Sunday bye friends love y'all and god bless mm -hmm.